Hello, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to our Tuesday edition of Reporter's Notebook. I'm Kelsey O'Donnell, joined here by fellow digital reporter Kayla Schmidt. Kayla, first of all, welcome. Thank you. Happy Tuesday. You had an awesome story today. Brian Bailey reached out to me. I think it was... Sunday or Monday asking me to do this, and I was so excited when you said you were covering. So basically, you were out in Kinston today, and I will let, I'll give you the ropes and let you um, give us all the rundown. Yes, definitely. So I was at UNC Lenore Healthcare, a hospital in Lenore County in Kinston, where an NBA basketball superstar donated 982 pairs, I believe, of Adidas to so employees awesome. at uh, UNC Lenora Healthcare, which was amazing. I mean, the smiles, the gratitude on these workers' faces were was something I have never been able to witness in person. Mm -hmm. It was a beautiful thing. Uh, he wasn't himself, Brandon. He wasn't able to be there. He's over in Orlando. He's in the Orlando bubble, as they call it <laughs> right now. Uh, but his father, Donald Ingram, was there. And the gift came from the Ingram Family Foundation. So it really meant a lot that at least his father was there and uh, his father's wife both handed out you know, boxes of these Adidas, only a portion, not all 982. It was a little hot out for that. <laughs> but I spoke to one employee at the healthcare facility who said this was her first pair of Adidas. She's Aww. never had Adidas. She's worked for the hospital for 33 years and she's a single mom. She, every penny she makes goes yeah, to her kids. Yes, yes. <laughs> every penny she makes goes to her kids. So when she got to receive her pair today. She was so excited and just feeding off of that energy was really beautiful. Okay, I absolutely love this. First of all, Adidas are like, they're awesome. Yeah, I'm not promoting I'm actually anything, wrapping but... some right now. <laughs> yes, I'm not promoting it, but I love my Adidas shoes and my Nike shoes too, which I know they're competitors, but being an athlete myself, we've always, I'm always into the sneaker game. Um, but what was it like out there? What were some of the reactions of the people that were receiving the shoes outside of the one uh, mother that you were speaking to? Everybody had almost an, the, the exact same reaction, just pure excitement. I mean... Uh, there were people of all ages from our age, older, uh, just every employee, if you could imagine. That goes from kitchen staff, nurses, doctors, um, technicians, and every single employee yeah. was accounted for uh, for these Adidas shoes, which I believe is amazing that something like that could be pulled off. And even though he wasn't there, you could definitely feel the excitement in the air. Yes. And I'm sure... Our excitement when traveled states all over to Florida into that <laughs> bubble. So I hope that uh, his father got to share some of that excitement with him today. And I think it's very cool to kind of localize. I know when people look at celebrities, so to speak, like Brandon Ingram, it's nice to be able to bring it home and be like, okay, well, this is neat. I received a pair of shoes from him instead of just looking at him as a public figure. Exactly. Um, so it's awesome that he was giving back to the community. And a fun fact, he was born at that hospital. Oh my gosh. So okay. in 1977, he was born at that hospital. So um, now that COVID-19 is among us, he thought, why not give back to the place I was actually born at, yeah. not just Kinston, but the place I was actually born. <laughs> Perfect. I love it. Well, you can catch Kayla's full story online at WNCT.com under our online original page, as well as what time tonight? 5.30. 5.30, again, on our broadcast. But that will do it for this week's report, well, this Tuesday's Reporter's Notebook. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great day.